Queens might have been nothing more than a meteor which burned up when it entered our atmosphere. Professor Werner von Green, our leading space expert, is still convinced it was a Martian spaceship. Stay tuned for further bulletins. Billy, what does a Martian look like? I don't know. Nobody's ever seen one. I don't believe there are any Martians. You don't, huh? What would you do if a Martian woke right up behind you? I scream. Oh, stop man. Betty, I'm trying to sleep. I see a Martian. Boy, you and your imagination. Come on, let's go home. Who, who are you? We're from Mars. Don't be afraid. We have children just like you on Mars. What are those funny things sticking out of your head? Those are our antenna. Are you a television set? Shh. <laughs> Stupid question. Is this what you want to do to our children on Mars? Turn them into nincompoops like these? Hold your tongue, Boldar. What's your name, little boy? Billy. Billy Foster, sir. And this is my sister, Betty. Perhaps you can help us, Billy. We're looking for one of your Santa Clauses. There's only one Santa Claus. We've seen many of them in your cities. Oh, those are his helpers. There's only one real Santa Claus, and he's in his workshop up at the North Pole. We're going to the North Pole. That's what we came here to find out. Let's go. Isn't it exciting? Very well. Come along. Magnoscope to third power. Turn to fifth power. Hey, it's Durpal Shiners. I can see Santa Claus workshop. I prepare for landing. Hargo, set the rocket silences. I wonder if Santa's got my Major Matt Mason space station. We've landed. Secure the ship. Lomas, you remain on guard and have the ship ready for immediate blast off. Rigna, Hargo, Voldar, you'll accompany me. Come, we'll activate Torg. Torg? To capture a roly-poly little man like Santa Claus? We don't need Torg. We won't take any chances. Come. Nothing can stop Torg. any mistakes. Argo, you cover the rear of the workshop. Rigna, hold on. Cover the front entrance. I'll direct Torg. Torg, come out of the spaceship. It's Santa! Get him, Torg. Name Torg after Gort and Tobor? You can't come in here. No one's allowed. Where? Where did you come from? You're the biggest toy I've ever seen. <laughs> 
And very well made, too. By the great dog star, Santa's treating him like a toy. Get him, Tor. Grab him. He's become a toy. I want one. Now we'll have to get Santa ourselves. Come on, Voldar. <laughs> <laughs> what have we here? More toys? <laughs> Those are Martians. Santa Claus, you're coming with us. No, you can't take him now. It's too near Christmas. Quiet, you. But... Oh, I never saw such lazy people standing around like statues. There's work to be done. Let's get to it. Mrs. Claus! My, oh, me, oh, oh, Mrs. Claus is going to be very angry about this. Let's go, old man. Going to be angry. You think that's something? I can just see Mrs. Claus now. Christmas coming, and I'm not there. She'll have a fit. <laughs> oh, me, oh, my, oh, me. Are there any polar missile passengers in need of refreshment? Come and get it. Dinner time. <laughs> Here's Droppo. If I can't cheer you up, Droppo can. He always makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, you'll have a wonderful dinner tonight. Oh, there's soup and beef stew and chocolate ice cream. Food pills. Food pills. Food pills. Pills. Pills for dinner. <laughs> well, and how is Santa and the little earthling? Say, how would you like to see the rest of the ship? You're not fooling me. You don't like us. Why, of course, Boldar. We'd love to take the grand tour. All right, children. This room is called... The... That's right. Sure. This is where you come when you're ready to go out in space. It's airtight. You put on your space suit and go out through that door. When you come back, the door closes and they pump air back into the room through there. When it reaches the pressure of the rest of the ship, you can take your space suit off. Smart ass. Where's the control that opens the door, son? Not here. That's in the control deck. You see, once you pull that switch, the warning bell sounds, and in 60 seconds, that door opens. That's to give a space and a chance to make a final checkup on their equipment. There's no air out in space. If that door were open now, it will pull all the air out of this room and us with it. You certainly know a great deal about space travel, son. He's going to be a spaceman when he grows up. Maybe sooner than that. Oh, I don't think so. He probably just stepped off for a moment. It's locked. It's Valdor. He's going to open the space door. Thank you. 
No one. Now. You killed Santa!